Good everyone, my name is Graphics. What we're we'll looking at will be the curve of interpretation of a square prism pierced by a cone, right? Now, if you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see the diagram showing a square prism that is being pierced by a cone, including the plan and the elevation. So, the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your horizontal line your vertical line this way right for you to do what draw your vertical line in this manner now once you've done that the next thing you do is for you to draw your horizontal line let me take this down a little bit again let me take this down so the next thing for you to do is for you to draw what your horizontal your horizontal line let's pick this point hope you can see that and this is where we assume this is where they are meeting now if you look closely we are given that the diameter of the circle you can see there in the plan is 100 so we have to measure 50 on our meter rule so when i place my instrument here and i measure half of 100 which is 50 and i come straight down to the center point here where they intersect and i'm going to draw my circle which i will take in which i'm going to what take in like what we have there right now the next thing is i'm going to project the edges i'll project them upward from this point here and i'll take them up right this is this way and this is this way at any given distance you join them and it should be a thick line at any given distance away from the circle so i'm having this this way so i'm taking it now the height given right for the um the cone from here to here is 64. So what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure 64 from this base here I'll measure 64 0 towards 64 you can see that and i'll use my faint line and i'll connect this to this faint line representing the cone so this is the cone faint line first of all and the height of the the height of the um the cone right is given to be um the height of the um from the base of the cone to the top of this um, prism that we have here the square prism is given to be what 90 as you can see in the diagram so i'm going to measure 90 from here depending on what you want to do from zero to what 90 right and on that point and i'm going to draw this this way You can see that now since it is a square and if you look at here from here to here it is 50 millimeter right meaning that to the left is 25 to the right is 25 so let's do that and see so when i place it this way from zero this is 25 and this is another word 25 you can see that then i will bring that down to touch this this way from here i'll bring it down and from here i also would bring it down hope you can see that now after that so i can easily thicken it in this manner from here to here right and i'll come back to this now for me to get where the square will be i'll project this edge downward one of the edge just a little bit here just put them down 
and I'll come here also and put it here down. I will together. Right? So if that is the case, is that okay? If that is the case, so once I've done that, what will I do? Still the same thickness, 50-50. So whatever I'm having from here to here, I'm going to mark up and I'm going to mark down. So I'm going to tick in those parts together. Is that okay? So that's what we'll be having. I'm going to tick in those parts together from here to here and from here to here then I'll bring this down this way alright and I'll bring here down this way hope you can see that now um the next thing i'm going to do is that at this edge here i'll draw a spare all together i'll draw a spare this way from this edge from the center to this edge i'll draw a circle in faint line Good. Where the line cuts the horizontal, I will take it up from this point. That is where this line will stop. So let me take in this from here, straight down to here, from here, straight down to here, right? And this. From here to this point, from here to this point, and this is what we have here the prism penetrating the cone. Right now, that point I mark, I will call that point here my point one. How good, meaning this is my point one here. Now, the next thing is the next one will be this you see here which we have already projected up to this point here will be my point what point five all together so we have the beginning here and the end here so what we are going to do is that we'll just draw different circle right just you just draw different circle evenly distributed maybe into like um can put it maybe into like um let's say four or five right so let's say three three more so if i come here i draw this one from this point this is one of them can you see so where the line intersects the horizontal i'll project it up that will be point two right now the next thing is for that end of point two where it cuts here i'll take it to touch here and i'll take it to touch here where it cuts the square right so this is another point the line of this where it touches here is another these two points here important i'll come again take any other circle again from this point even distributed, I'll draw another circle again. How good? So where the line touches the horizontal here, I'll project it up. You can see that that is another word three. Where the line of three it moves, I'll not project that point. Let's do that of two here and that of three here. So if I should, the first one I did supposed to be on this point here, sorry. From here, supposed to be on this point here. And this point here. Because the circle of 2 was cut on 2. That is what I want you to understand. So point 2, point 2. Why that of 1? This is the point of 1. We touch 1 here. 
this is one and this is one are we together now the next one we're doing now is three so this is the third circle three if i come here i'll project it up i'll come here also where it intersects here i'll project it up so where it cuts is three this is three and this is three then one more if i come to this point and i should draw this this way at any given radius what do you notice these are other points here i'll just stop from here touching here and i'm going to join it to this point too because this is my point four now right so where that fourth circle here touches the square prism i'm going to what i'm going to project it up from this point i'll take it up and from this point i'll take it up so they are meeting at this point here right and that of five look at five here over to this the, that of five so for that of five is just this right we have the five point there that is the highest point where it touches the center line just this point here that is the point of five so i'm going to use my french curve and I'll join those points. So in joining those points, yeah, each of those points, I'll have this, right? I'll have this. I'll have this. This is here. Is that the key? So this is the curve of what of intersection where when the square prism penetrates the cone right where what the square prism penetrate the cone this is the curve of what the curve of intersection are we good now so um if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also don't forget to share the video thanks for watching